this is a dynamic where the former governor um, left the General Assembly uh, with a budget that I said at the time it was passed was disingenuous. They told departments under the purview of the former governor to continue to spend money as if it existed. And now we have uh, the, the mess that we have today. I think what the vote that was taken here today is an indication that going forward, business has to be done differently in Illinois. The new governor rejected out of hand, yet borrowing yet again money that doesn't exist. He rejected out of hand uh, uh, smoke and mirror fixes and said, we have a situation in the here and now that has to go forward. We cannot possibly have our court system shut down because court reporters aren't being paid. We cannot have our prison guards in jeopardy of not being paid. Uh, we have child care providers uh, we're behind on the payments and they deserve to be paid as well this takes care of all three of those things um, it's certainly not um, uh, easy medicine for uh, everybody involved but I think most Illinoisans have understood for a long long time frankly much longer than the legislature uh, because they balance their own checkbook and they run not-for-profit organizations, and they run small businesses and large businesses, and they under can't understand that this dynamic of spending money that doesn't exist and borrowing uh, as if you are uh, living high on the hog on credit cards is a house of cards that will fall, and the day of reckoning has been upon us for a long time. And I think today marks the first day and the first vote of many uh, that will be necessary to resurrect a state that has been a, fr a fiscal morass for a decade.